let's see. If I say all three of them can do around seven damage, then Ike will be dead, but odds are one of them will miss. Hopefully. And that's only assuming that I don't move Oscar up to kill one of them, so. And one of them already missed, so I'm I'm actually perfectly fine with just moving Oscar out of everyone's range and then just having them. Oscar come over here and help. There's a swordsman that needs killing. What's Boyd's HP looking like? Um when I move Boyd though, these guys are probably gonna be able to move down and hit Rise potentially. Uh, so that range little thing that they've got going on in this nice little orange shadow thing isn't 100% accurate. It's how their range is right now, but obviously if I move Boyd, then he might be able to hit Rise. Because I think they have a movement range of 5, yes? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, he'd be able to hit Rise if I were to move Rise to heal Boyd right now. So I have to heal Boyd after I move him. A choice of which I'm not very happy about, but whatever. At least Boyd can take this guy out. Uh, the other guys, even if they gang up on Rise, probably can't kill Rise. If I feel they can, then I might be overly cautious and use Titania. Mm. Where do I want Oscar? Yeah, I wanted Oscar to come help with these Brosifs. Yeah, Oscar will be good on HP. So I think this axe guy will be able to... Oh, crit, never mind. <laughs> He's not doing anything. He's dead. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the axe guy would be able to hit Rise, but now no one can hit Rise because the axe guy's dead. And then this guy, I think... Well, I can't quite tell because I have these other guys. Okay, yeah, he would be able to hit Rise, so I need to move Rise. Boyd can probably take 14... Yeah, this guy's not going to be able to do 14 damage in one turn. Probably. Uh, now I'm getting paranoid. What if I move... Make this nice little pocket. Yeah! See what I did here? I made a pocket. <laughs> Derek is good. Derek is smart. Even when he's tired and exhausted, he's still smart enough to play Fire Emblem. On its highest difficulty, no less. I shouldn't be this, I shouldn't be this cocky, especially not this early game. Again, as I already said, in my opinion, this is just an extended tutorial. So, it's not even supposed to be super hard. Man, Boyd, you didn't kill him for me. Why is everyone just backing up? Come on at me. Come at me like a man. Ooh, a steel axe. Ouch. Excuse me, sir. I don't like that damage you just did to me. Oh, the other guy's not gonna come out of the bushes? Fine then. Maybe I'll go in the bushes then. <laughs> uh, on, how much damage can the other guy do? Uh, if I'm in the bushes, he won't be able to hit me, probably, but six damage by 10 HP, I'm good to go. I can just go in the bushes here. Take out this guy during enemy phase. If the other guy wants to come get me, then I'm completely fine with that because he'll probably miss. If he doesn't miss, I'm still alive. So. But, uh, Ike, in case you haven't figured out, is the main character. You might also recognize him from Smash Bros. And fuck. I have to get rid of another Iron Sword. I'm so stupid. I knew there was something I was going to forget. At least all these mistakes I'm making aren't character-related mistakes. Well, this one might, because now if... This guy probably can't do 10 damage to Ike. But if they both hit Ike, then Ike is dead. But they both probably won't hit Ike. It'll probably be an either-or type thing. Hmm, Boyd will probably miss. I'll just let Oscar hit the XP. He needs it anyways. Paladins are really sweet. Especially when they're uh, raised from a low level. You get one other cavalier, I believe. 
Uh, no, two other Cavaliers. Um, Makalov and Kieran. I don't remember which of the three are the best, but I remember Oscar being decent. Oscar's HP is still doing fine, right? Can I look at him? I can't even look at his HP. I'm just going to assume his HP is fine enough that if this axe guy attacks him, he'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. I probably should have... Nah, I can just heal Boyd instead. Let me double check this guy. Yeah, everything's still good. Okay. So, what's Rise of Distance? That bush? That's fine. We'll move him to the bush then. Alright. And the Rise hasn't missed a turn of healing either. Get all that EXP. Mm. The EXP. Get the EXP. <laughs> No one's gonna come attack Titania. She's too much of a threat. No one's gonna touch her. <laughs> Even though plot-wise it makes sense because they're trying to get revenge on Titania. But... Oh, he got a vulnerary from the boss. and He's just gonna use it? Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's strategically sound. Why is this guy still just sitting here, though? He's just gonna get, like, some free XP. You got it. That's fine. Yeah, he's probably going to miss Ike anyways. If he doesn't, then I can just rescue Ike with Titania. Woo, he missed. I knew it. I knew it. A flipping knew it. <laughs> Flip like a dolphin. Yeah, be quiet, chair. Quit your creakings. I need to eventually invest in a good chair. One that does not creak. Alright, no one can hit Ike, I don't think. Yep, no one can hit Ike. Ike is fine and dandy. Uh, they're using Axe, so I don't want them to hit Oscar. He can't even move, Cause yeah. Oh, much yawn. I need to trade those items away from Ike. Oh, I can talk to him. I'll trade first. I probably can do both actions. Because otherwise I'll just have to keep getting rid of items, and that's annoying and whatnot. Titania, I'm sorry, I ran out, my am out. Well, talk my aunt later. We are robots. Beep, beep, boop. Right? <laughs> I mean, Roger. <laughs> I don't feel like making voices for all the characters, only some of them. So. I'm gonna be a bit lazy today and just uh, be lazy. Under normal, I can't even speak. Under normal circumstances, why is he going in the corner? That's not what I was talking about. Anyways, under normal circumstances, I would totally make up voices for all these characters. Probably get them mixed up and not be like reliable, but I'd still make voices. Uh, Ike's low enough that I don't want him to go into battle quite yet. <sighs> oh my goodness, why am I so tired? I know why I'm tired. <laughs> oh, zero damage. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I mean, he can't kill him. So in that case, Oscar's a disappointment. But zero damage dealt. That's super nice. Blur. Mmm... Okay, so he could reach Ike if I move Titania out of the way. So I'll just have him heal Ike. He'll be in the bushes. They'll probably miss Rise. If not, I think only two of them will be able to hit him anyways. So Rise will probably be okay. So I just need to remember to move Titania, move Rise, move Ike. That's the order for them. The order for these two, however... Let me double check something. What's your range? Your range is piddly squat because there's a bunch of bushes in the way. What's your range? Your range is piddly squat because there's enemies in the way, which means your range is good. Because those enemies will be killed. Uh, I don't know if the boss can move or not. And just in case he can, we'll play it safe. Uh, 11 and 11 because the other Brosif can do 11... We could potentially kill this guy if Boyd doesn't miss. 
And if it misses, it's just six damage plus whatever the axe guy is gonna do. Nope, he missed. Good job, Boyd. At least he went this long without missing. And that's admirable enough, I guess. I mean, because you already know I was expecting misses way earlier on. But, again, that might just be because of uh, past experiences and conditioning telling me to um, be paranoid about everything. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I can move him after the fact. Um... I guess... Move him back out of the range of the Axe Bros? Maybe this is out of the range of the Axe Bros. I'm gonna guess here. Was it? It was not. Excellent. I was one away. <laughs> oh, I should have just counted to five. I already had the movement range memorized. Ah, Derek. Idiot. Oh, well. Titania. Mm, I guess. Just move here. Create kind of a... Nah, move here. Provide some cover. Maybe. Does that shorten the range? No, it did not. Okay. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. It's friggin' fan fucking tastic. I except full HP. Rise probably won't die. I um, I think the sword guy's the only one can hit him, right? Nope, look, I can hit him, okay. But only one of them can hit him because there's only one spot that's adjacent to him. So it'll still only be one person hitting him. There's no way they're doing 22 damage in one turn. Plus he's in the bushes. He'll be fine. I totally forgot I could still use Ike. Come here, buddy. Do -do 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 -do. And you're dead. Uh, and hopefully they all attack Ike because Ike's got a sword, so he's got weapon advantage. Please don't make noises, chair. I'm, I'm moving around and trying to get comfortable and whatnot. I knew it! But he's gonna miss. Oh, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. He didn't miss, but it was fine. Rise is alive. He just did half HP. No biggie. <laughs> One more hit and he dies. Oh wow, that guy did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Poor Boyd. Well, he's still up. Level four. <sighs> that RNG. Ah, the RNG gods are not with me. Did the boss move? I think that's the boss with the white flap thing. Yeah, okay, so the boss can move. In most Fire Emblem games, the bosses are stationary. Oh, man. This puts me in quite a pickle. I've got four guys to take out in one turn. The boss I probably can't take out in one turn. How's everyone's HP? Boyd. I'd like to heal Boyd, but then I have to move Rise right next to the enemies, right in the thick of everything. So, I guess... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. I don't know what he's going to be able to hit people in this area. So, I don't want to lose Boyd. Boy doesn't miss, this guy dies, and then there's three of them. So, assuming that, how much can Ike do to the boss? Not nearly enough, and the boss can three hit KO him. I can take the boss by himself one on one, but I'm afraid of the boss taking out other characters considering I can't one shot the boss, so I might take out the boss of Titania. What is this? Lo and behold, it is the end card, and you made it to it. Congrats! But, uh, I have a question today. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Hmm, yes, I want to know all of your dirty secrets. What kind of pizza do you like? Yes, that's a good start, a very good start. The most dirtiest secret of all! <laughs> yes. Tell me all about the pizza.